understanding, the ability to comprehend not only the spoken word, but those unspoken gestures, the little things that say so much by themselves. The key to love is forgiveness, to accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes without forgetting, but with remembering what you learn from them. The key to love is sharing, facing your good fortunes as well as the bad, together, both conquering problems, forever searching for ways to intensify your happiness. The key to love is giving without thought of return, but with the hope of just a simple smile, and by giving him, but never giving up. The key to love is respect, realizing that you two are two separate people with different ideas, that you don't belong to each other, that you belong with each other, and share a mutual bond. The key to love is inside us all. It takes time and patience to unlock all the ingredients that will take you to its threshold. It is the continual learning process that demands a lot of work, but the rewards are more than worth the effort, and that is the key to love. Very nice. We're going to conclude this ceremony with the breaking of the glass. Dolores and Matthew, this glass symbolizes the clarity of your love for each other and the shattering of your old separate lives as you begin anew together. The glass is broken to protect this marriage with the implied prayer. May your bond of love be as difficult to break as it would be to put together the pieces of this glass. After Matthew breaks the glass, I invite everyone to shout out the Hebrew words, Mazel tov, meaning good luck and congratulations. Now this is key, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we want to hear him back in Ben Salkin, we want to hear him on Del Rand, we want to hear, now, hear you on Matt Laurel, so it's very, very important. Okay, Matthew, I gave you a big build up. Also, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. And let's 